Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, back on the boat. So, uh, Sun sent me the uh, lower end kit. He wants to see if I can go ahead and get the uh, lower end seals replaced, get the uh, impeller, uh, water pump housing, all that replaced. Um, and you guys know. I don't know anything about these things, so should be fun. <laughs> All right. I guess the first thing we got to do is get the prop off because there's a couple of seals that go into the case in here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get those replaced, uh, but so let's get the prop off and let's start there. <laughs> That's got some serious corrosion on it. Well, I don't, uh. I don't have a puller that's going to work on this. It's it's going to take a a pretty specific puller, or I'd probably have to go down, and pick up some longer bolts for like my steering wheel puller. Um, so we're going to put this on hold right now. Um, I don't think there's any issues in here, anyways. But we'll pull this we'll pull this off. We'll get this off. We'll get the uh, impeller and the top end seals, all them done. All right, there we go, let's get the oil out. Ooh, doggy, that's black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, so, I mean, there you go. That's about as black as you're gonna get. That oil ain't been changing a long time. So, the very least, this thing's gonna get a a well deserved and needed oil change. I'm going to put these plugs back in and then we'll pull this lower half off. Uh, you know, Probably should think things through a little bit more. Uh, to take this off, there's a, uh, a shift linkage rod that runs all the way up to the top, and I gotta take the bolt out. Which means I gotta take that top off. And I ain't taking that top off with it that close to the uh, platform up there. So I'm gonna have to lower the thing back down, take the top off, and then bring it back up. <laughs> I should have called this one step forward, two steps back garage. Okay, so got to keep digging. <laughs> so I had to take and get the uh, fairings off of the bottom half here because the shift linkage is right here and it runs right, right down through here and into the lower case. And I got to get that bolt off right in there so that that shift linkage can come loose. So when this whole thing comes out, that will slide out as well. Okay, let me get that off. I just kind of a pain getting those things off. Okay, so let's get in there and get that shift linkage off. <laughs> Did I get a long enough extension? <laughs> what? There's that. See, I needed a long extension like that. All right, all right, that's loose. Let's uh, tilt it back up and get the bolts from underneath. Okay. All that, so we can get back to where we were, just taking this off, so 9 sixteenths is the magic number. Oh. 
I'm just hoping to get out of this one alive. I am diving into unknown waters for sure. Now, let's see. Hey, smacking on it when there's still a bolt in there isn't gonna help. Oh, I swear, I am just my own worst enemy. Wow. Huh. That was tight. All right, let's see if we can break it. Why is that one so tight? Oh, she's coming loose. Now I gotta be careful because probably gonna fall on my foot or something. As long as I get it on film, right? Let's protect ourselves a little bit from this thing falling. Finger tight. No, it don't want to come out. <sighs> there we go. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to put this thing and work on it. So, oh, she's ready to come out. Okay, here we go. There we go. We did it! <laughs> I know, don't be too proud of myself, right? Okay, there's your impeller, water pump housing, shift linkage. Okay, so we're gonna get this off first, get all the seals in here, clean it up, get the seals uh, replaced. Get that back on, and then we'll uh, we'll worry about this. Just right. That's the Goldilocks theory. All right. So before I go any further, this here. So this rod's gonna come out, I need to unscrew it out. But before I do, I need to screw it in all the way till it stops and count the number of turns. So let's do that now. Half, one, half, two, Ten. Ah. Eleven. So that will get us back to where we were, our distance, uh, so that we don't have to try and re-rig our, our shift. So, eleven. Remember that. You guys have to help me. I need to remember eleven. Now, I can take this out. So how do you remember 11? Let's see, uh, well, you can go 7-Eleven. The Slurpees, maybe, maybe the Slurpee will help me remember 11 because you get them at the 7-Eleven. There we go. All right, we'll clean that before we put it back in because it's gross. It's all gross, nasty. Okay, now we can take this off. All right, so. Now, let's see hey, what comes off and what stays. I have no idea. Am I missing something? I have no idea. <laughs> 
So, you know the little warning at the beginning of my videos? This is, this is why. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not a how-to video. This is an entertaining video watching somebody who has no idea how to make this thing work right, how to get it off, how to do any of this stuff. I, I don't have a clue. I think I gotta get that off. See, I'm just gonna fumble around on this and eventually I'll get it. Looks like three quarters, wasn't very tight. Okay, there's that. All right. So maybe this thing doesn't come off. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it comes off. Because it would really make no sense to have these two bolts right there. <laughs> what would they be doing? So something is holding this on still. And I have no idea what. There's just a lot of dirt. It makes it hard to see what's going on. Well, I don't know, guys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to break anything. I am still pretty sure there's, a, there's an O-ring down in here that needs to come out and be replaced. I don't see one on here, but there, prob there should have been one on here. So this is missing an O-ring that it should have. That's interesting. Hmm. I do have a little diagram thingy. I suppose I could look at that, huh? Ooh, that's helpful. I can see exactly what's going on in there. Look, the prop. So I can figure that out. All right. Let's see, which one am I on? That's not it. This one. I mean, it looks like it comes off. I just don't... I don't know what's holding it in. Looks like it goes up underneath this piece here. So I think, I think if I can pull this, it goes over top of it. I don't know if that's what's keeping it on, but let's pull that off. Just right. Goldilocks wins again. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. This does not look bad. This looks like it's a... <laughs> oh my gosh, so if somebody's been in here, this is like brand new. That, that is like brand new. My little tab, don't lose that tab. Okay, that locks this in on the shaft. It goes right, I don't know. I'm not doing a very good job. Right there, blocks, I'm blocking your view, but it goes, it goes on this little flat right here. All right, so, huh, this looks to be in pretty good shape. I don't, I don't I'm almost 100% positive that is not original. O-ring right here can come off. That was, well, I'm going to leave it on for now so I know where the, that, that an O-ring goes there. This plate here, there should be a plate right there. Should be able to take that off. There we go. So before we go into that, let's let's see if we can't figure out how to get that thing off. I don't see any other fastening devices. I really don't know. It looks like it fits down inside there. So I mean, I'm sure it's just got a spinner. There it goes. Oh, it's tight. Oh. Mm. Okay, so how do you get it to come this way? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's tight. Well. All right, let me get you a little closer here so you can see what's going on. A little bit better. There you go. Oh, there we go. There we go, that is filthy in there. All right, so looks like we got another O-ring to deal with, so, okay, no big deal. So we have an, a, 
We got uh, this came out. We got a big old fatty. It's got to go inside here. Okay, so we got a O-ring here. So let's go ahead and get that off. Come on, there we go. All right, so let's, uh, let's start with this one. Okay, there's that, that's good. And then here's our big fatty. And that goes, woohoo, come jumping out at me. It goes like right, right in there. It's, there's no real groove for it. I think it just gets shoved all the way down in there. There we go. There we go. All right, see down in there? Okay, so we got that. Okay, and then we have this piece here that went right in there. So let's clean this up real good. All right, so this goes on here. Okay. tight okay so these two rubber doohickey thingies that I have no idea what they do <laughs> I guess this one here seals but uh, I put some uh, sealant and put them down on there keep them down so that's that's done put a little bit of oil in here grease grease that up and then we're gonna do the same thing here Some grease there. We'll grease the. So we're going to grease the O ring on here so that we can slide that back in. Okay, and you can see I got some grease right in here. So when we put the rod back through here, it's not going through the uh, this O ring back here dry. It'll have some lubricant on it. And I'll put some uh, grease as well on the uh, end of the rod. So there's that. Okay, so I think we got all our seals replaced on this and this is ready to go back on. There we go. Get some bolts in it. Okay. Okay, so we cleaned it all up. We got it all back in, we greased it. So that should be good. So now we need to get this off. Looks like three bolts, let's get those. Yeah. <laughs> Got another one that's gonna be fun. Man, I don't even know. How do you get that off? I think I need to try and spin it. See if I can't get it to spin and break the seal so it, I can try to work it off because right now it's just been sitting on here for so long. We need to get in here and see if I can't twist that a little bit. See guys, this is what you get for diving into something you know nothing about. You gotta figure everything out the whole way through. 
All right, let's see. There's got to be a way to get this to break loose. Give this a try. Okay, that moved. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Now we got it loosening up. Now, how do we get it to come out? Yep. Kind of almost need two hands here. Haha, <laughs> I got two hands. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. All right, come on. Takes two hands to, to move it. I don't have a third hand to get behind here and kind of start pulling it out as I'm twisting it. Okay. Um, all right, so I think I may have figured out something. There's a, you know, cleaned it up some. There's like a groove down in here. I can get my screwdriver in. And then I've been able to get it to come out a little. You can see how I got some movement now. So, trying to see if I can't, there we go. There we go. Ah! Woohoo! I don't know if I was ever going to get that one. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can't get this seal out of there. So I got a socket that fits nicely down in there. A little bit of slop, but it's it's hitting on the the seal here so i just need to put a bigger socket around here so that that can go inside and then i can should be able to just tap that down all right well that should do it so i think that one will work keep going no, 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 don't, don't, no. Let me see if I can find something with a little, just a slightly tighter fit. Continue on with the one we got. Got it. There you go. It gives you kind of your standard oil seal and you use two of them back to back, or it gives you these, and it, it, you're supposed to use whatever you have in there. So looks like I'll be going back in with one of these. All right, so I'm gonna clean this first before, before I go putting that in. It's pretty dirty. Okay, I got her cleaned up, and now we got an old O-ring on here I need to get off. Look at that. Okay. Work that off. There we go. There we go. All right. Here we go. Got the fresh O ring on. And now we need to press in a seal. We're going to make our own seal driver. Like right there looks perfect. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and take and get that pressed on. Okay, so I got the seal in. Got some grease on it. Grease the uh, O-ring. And I put a, a light coat of grease on the bearings in here as well. So that should be pretty good. I think we're going to go ahead and slide this back on the shaft now. Get some a bit of lube. Okay, now, how did this go? I guess just like this. There we go. We'll go ahead and get our bolts back in.
we need to put the impeller together, which is probably going to be a pain in the butt because everything else has been a pain in the butt. Well, this ought to be fun. I don't even know which way the key goes. Let's see what the very detailed instructions say. I'm being sarcastic, of course. <laughs> that doesn't tell me nothing. All right, so I think it goes like this. Well, didn't seem to be grabbing us because that came out. All right, well. Ah, oh, there we go. Eh, went in that time. Now, okay, so it's catching. All right, now I know what to do. So now we can put this together. We gotta get the new plate on. Let's see which side the gasket goes on. Gasket goes here, then this goes on top. Okay. So let's get some sealing on here. All right, so we get that on and we'll get another layer on top of the other side. Put a little bit of grease in here just to hold the weird shaped o-ring okay okay and we got our new whatever this is i assume this has to go a certain way hmm oh i see there's a tab Yay, a tab. Okay. All right, so we got that in. Okay. Okay. Keyway goes in, I think, like this. And this slides down and... Okay. So we're back on there, but that O-ring, I'm not sure about that where it goes. So let's verify where that goes. Just like I got it. Okay, so this is how this one came off. I just checked the video. So it came off like this. So this is where it gets interesting. So as I slide this on and I get close to this, I gotta spin the shaft uh, this way and try to get these to go in here that way. It's going to be tricky. Okay, so I'm going to put a little water on this. See if that helps any. All right, here we go. And all right, so we got to turn. There we go. Come on. Come on. There's that one. That one started. Yeah, this is a uh, not fun. Come on. Ooh, 
Almost there, guys. <laughs> Always one of them that wasn't want to go right. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. There we go. <sighs> wow, that was tricky. Okay, bolts. We're almost done. Okay, think it through in my head. Oil seals, we got all the O-rings. All right guys, I think, uh, oh, oh, we gotta put this shift rod back on. So we're gonna get these threads lubed up so that they go through the uh, seal. And do you guys remember the magic number? You remember? I didn't hear you. Well, it's 11. Slurpees, 7-Eleven. Come on, make it through there. Let's pull this off and take a look and see. I think it's having a hard time going through that. Remember the big fatty, that little tiny big fatty O-ring? I think it's having trouble getting through that, so it'll be easier if I can see what I'm doing. All right, so. We're through, so now I just gotta push that back in there. All right, so we'll run this down to the bottom, and then we'll come back out 11 turns. And hopefully we haven't messed with our shift linkage rigging. Should be the same. Okay, tight. Make sure that O-ring is seated in there good. All right, I think we got it in there. Okay, now we get back around 11 turns. And then we should be able to slide this back, uh, back on the uh, motor. Nine, 10, 11. You guys ready to put this back? Me too. Everything is in. We got some grease on our splines. We are bolted down. Uh, I think we're ready to go back on with it. So let's take the lower half over and get it loaded up. Well guys, looks like Pepper came to say hi. Hey buddy. Hmm? You done with that four hour nap? Yeah. All right, you're gonna help me put this on? I thought so. Walking away. 
All right, let's get set up over here and get the lower half on. Okay, guys, so this, this should be interesting. Uh, okay, so get in a good position here. See if I can't get a bolt started to hold it. And, well, no. I think I need to. All right. There we go. Well. Um, <laughs> the shift cable is way off, way off. I mean, we're already up there and, and we're a good inch and a quarter or so from lining up. So I don't know what the deal is there. Ha! It's got to be something, right? So I'm gonna pull this back off. I gotta verify the the length. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Let's go back in. Okay, so we're seated again. All right, 11, right? I was right, right? 11? I... Slurpee, 11, man. One. Two. All right, so. Doesn't look like it changed it a whole lot. Um, I'm gonna have to put it up in there. Try and see if I can't get a pretty decent uh, idea about how far it needs to come out because it's it's way off i don't i'm pretty certain nothing is moved no that's all right where it was it's all all where it was so nothing's moved all right let's just slide it back in and see what we got You know, I just thought. Here goes my, here goes my seat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dang it! Let me go get it. <laughs> okay. So there's a uh, real possibility here that this shifted. The rod is shifted down and into gear. I didn't think about that, but I bet I'd need to pull this and shift. It's probably shifted in here, not in neutral anymore. Uh, I don't know. Ew. Um, so let me see what I can do about that. All right. All right, so it looks like my mic has uh, gone on the fritz a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. So I'll just talk you through this. But right now I am trying to get the what I think is the problem, where the, the shift lever has moved on me. But that is far from the problem. But just let me struggle through it, okay? Just let it happen. Yep, see? It's not working. 
Now I'm twisting the knob, trying to, you know, screw it out or screw it in. I'm not going to give it away what, what's really going wrong. You'll see here in a minute. All right, so now I'm trying to screw this back in, but I'm starting to realize that I don't think I am actually screwing into the shift linkage. There you go. So now I'm telling you that what I need to do is pull that off so I can look in there and see what's going on. So that'll be the next thing I do. I'm going to go ahead and take it back to the bench. I'm going to pull that off uh, and then get it put back together. Yep, there it is. There's the epiphany. I have just figured out that <laughs> this thing uh, was not actually screwed into the shift linkage. And now that I've got that figured out, I've got it screwed back in correctly to the shift linkage. And now that you know, we'll go ahead and we'll get the turns in and we'll make sure we're remember what you guys remember what the uh, number of turns is 11, right? Like the 711 Slurpee, remember? So as you can see, I'm pointing out that the shift linkage is now longer like it should be. So it will reach the, the engine li linkage. And now we're going to put it back up in there. So there you go. So I'm going to just say, you know, uh, spoiler alert, this fixed it. So we're going to slide it back up here. I'll get this thing bolted up and uh, get this. Uh, so All right. I couldn't remember if I tightened these, but I'm now now that I remember, I think I did it because I didn't want to forget you guys. Yep, they're tight. Okay. All right, so lower end's tight. I'm going to slide the prop on, tighten that up. And uh, lower this, fill it with some oil. Come on off. Come on off. There you go. Okay. Let's get some oil in this thing. Right now, before I forget. So, came with this little pump doohickey. The oil. So... I don't know how this is going to work because it's got to have a, a way to vent the case. Uh, I don't know how much goes in. I don't know any of the answers. And this, this isn't even going to fit this. This doesn't even fit. <laughs> well, it's a nice idea, Ryan, but... None of the, neither of these adapters are going to fit in there. Nope. So what do you do? Do you fill it up the at the bottom? And just... I don't know. I don't want to do it wrong. I don't want to put too much oil in either. I don't know how much is supposed to be in here. So I guess I got some... figuring out to do. All right, I uh, educated myself. I'm glad I did. I would have never guessed that this is how you do it, but uh, the adapters for this little uh, pump doohickey here uh, work just fine. You fill it from the bottom. Uh, so you pull the drain plug, and then you, you run your adapter in, then you tighten your hose to it. And you can go right, see right here, okay? And up here, you pull the uh, vent uh, uh, plug out, and then you fill it from the bottom up. 
and then once it comes out the top, you're good. So let's see. There we go. We'll just keep going until I see some come out. And then the real fun's gonna be, I gotta pull all this out. Hopefully this doesn't like drain out too fast. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I put this in up here, that should vapor lock it and it shouldn't allow a whole lot to come out. Um, is this thing, well, there's still plenty in there. Is this thing not long enough? Ah, oh, I see. There's some tubes in here. There we go. Now we ought to be able to get it. There we go. Can you see it coming in? Here. You see the turquoise oil? All right. I guess you guys got to watch Pepper clean himself over there. That was pretty rude, buddy. goes all right now we'll cap this off up here hopefully that will not allow it to come out all right now okay there we go come on come on come on come on come on hey that worked out pretty good didn't get hardly any came out. There you go. Woohoo! Okay, guys, let's uh, let's get some of the grime and grease off this thing. I'm gonna button up the uh, the lower cows there. I'm gonna get them on uh, and see if I can't get this ready to start. I'm gonna bring you back when I got it ready. All right. Okay. We got the water hooked up. Works really good, so she cranked up. The uh, impeller works fine, so we're good there. Uh, the only other thing that I need to check now is prop to engage uh, and no noise, and you know that's smooth. So I'll do that uh, tomorrow, the next day. I'll I'll get this lifted up and get the uh, garbage can underneath it and see if we can't throw some water everywhere. So. That's it for tonight. I'll get you guys in the morning and we'll wrap this thing up, all right? All right, guys. So, as you can see, it's dark. <laughs> uh, I've been messing around with it. I'm not going to, I'm just not going to have time to get to the uh, putting this thing into a bucket. Uh, I'll probably get that layer, but I'm going to go ahead and call this video right here. Uh, we got a lot done. We got that bottom end tore out and all those things. Uh, so, I feel like uh, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. And uh, I'll prove this thing out, for, you know, down the road a little bit. But I need to get onto this thing and get it painted now. So I'm going to end this video here and we're going to pick up with the paint. And then we're going to wrap up this boat completely because my son will be coming to get it. So appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.